hello. C please, miss, calm down. My Michael's in the house. He he's being taken into the hospital. He'll, he'll probably die there. Just relax. You'll never have to worry about him again. <sighs> okay. Okay. My name's Lori. Please, j just, just promise me I never have to see him again. I promise. I've known Michael for 15 years. I know the way he thinks. I know the way he acts. So I promise you, even if he doesn't die in the hospital, I will spend the rest of my life making sure he is behind bars until he dies. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. He's killed my friends. I... I never want to see him again. So we're taking a maniac to a hospital where a psychiatrist is hoping he dies. Jeez, he's got a lot of respect for his patient. Yeah, I get what you mean. Is that technically illegal? To take a guy to a hospital and be told by his doctor not to treat him just because he killed a couple people? Jeez, that just doesn't sound right to me. CAR! Fine. He he's dead. He's freaking dead. I'm never gonna see him again. Well, Doctor Sartain, it's nice to meet who is going to be in Michael's care after me. But there are things you should know. I've spent seven years trying to reach him, and another five trying to keep him locked up. So, last year when he escaped, that was the worst night of my life. And so many others, so many died. We thought that keeping him in a coma was the only way to prevent a night like that happening again. Some people say it's cruel to keep a man who is in a fire and intentionally keep him in a coma. But if he ever wakes up, that could cause more deaths. So please, even if he does wake up, do your best to restrain him. And don't let him get inside your head. Once you spend 15 minutes in a room alone with him, assuming you don't die, of course, he somehow knows what you're thinking. He knows what you're afraid of. And on Halloween, he exploits that fear, using it against you. It would be your best interest to never underestimate him. I understand, Dr. Loomis. Though, personally, I believe that waking him up may be the best way to understand him. Oh, I agree. Waking him up is definitely the only way to understand him, and I believe there are still many things left to understand. But there are risks, and I am playing at the best interest of everyone in Haddonfield while I am telling you, if you are going to take that risk, take it as safely as possible. I beg you, this is a very dangerous man. Doctor, I know it's a slim chance, considering he's been in that coma for a year, but is it possible to wake him up? I want to understand him as soon as possible. Actually, if we introduce a high enough voltage of electricity, we could probably wake him up. Every chance is worth it.
This man's story greatly interests me, and I do wish to understand him more. Do it. <laughs> Lori, you're late again. Yeah, sorry, Linda. It's just... I had another nightmare. You know, it's been exactly... Been exactly one year since you were attacked by a maniac on Halloween. I know. We all know you were attacked by Michael Myers on Halloween. Everybody knows that. And we all feel sorry for you, but... You need to get over it. You're never gonna see that monster again. It's been a year. You're right, you're right. Let's just forget about all this. Come on, let's open the shop. Uh, the shop's been open for two hours. So my new book, The Devil Walks Among Us, will go into detail over Michael Myers' childhood and his attacks last year. The Halloween Massacre of 1978. If you have any questions about what happened, or really anything you'd like to ask me, now is the time. Yes, Dr. Loomis, you've had some experience with Michael Myers. I knew of a similar story as a child. Like, when I was eight, I lived in this town in Texas. There was this story about a chainsaw-wielding maniac called Leatherface. Can you confirm or deny whether or not that was possible judging by what you've seen from Michael Myers. Two years ago, I would have said no, but judging by what I saw, I don't think anything is impossible to me anymore. Before the attacks last year, how long was Michael Myers planning this? I am convinced that Michael was planning this nearly his whole life. Haddonfield is living in fear because of this question. Will Michael Myers ever come back to this town? It's impossible. We all saw him in that fire. His body was recovered, but no one in Haddonfield knows if he survived. The only people who know he's dead or not are you and the doctors. I will not confirm or deny whether or not Michael is still alive. But even if he is, you're safe. He's highly guarded and strapped to a surgical table. Even if he is still alive and he gets off that table, he'll still have to deal with highly trained guards. You mean the guards that failed to stop him from escaping last year. Can we get him out of here, please? Hey, buddy. <laughs> what you doing out here in a field? You lost or something? You know, this is a very dangerous part of town. Especially during Halloween. You might want to get on home, man. Look at me when I'm talking to you, pal. Why the hell would you read Loomis's book? It's only gonna make you hate last year even more. I wanna know why Michael came after me. He could have gone after anybody, but he came for me. I just want the answer. It was probably no reason at all. He was probably just a murderous psychopath who killed whoever he wanted. There's probably nothing special about you in his head. <gasps> no. No, 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 that's not true. No, 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 that can't be true. What? What is it? It says here, 
judging by the proof, Michael Myers came back to Haddonfield to hunt down his younger sister. Okay, so what's that got to do with you? D don't you get it? I'm Michael Myers' sister. Oh my god. Wow, th that's a lot to take in. You know what? Let's go for a drive. I feel like you need to get out of town for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, are you sure you're okay? I, I don't really know. Just, can we keep it quiet, please? <sighs> okay. <laughs> what the hell was that? Did, did someone smash the car? Will you shut up? I'm trying not to think about psychotic murderers, so don't say stuff like that. Jesus Christ, it's cold. We'll get used to it. The car was completely smashed. We have to walk all the way back to Haddonfield. Well, your psychotic brother did it last year, so why the hell can't we? <sighs> Whatever. Oh, God. Sorry, I, I shouldn't have said that. <sighs> it's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> no! No, 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 not again! Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna get through this. I'm gonna get through this, please. I'm gonna get through this. No, 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 not again. What's going on? Sorry, doctor. Looks like your old patient wasn't as dead as we hoped he was. Michael's awake? I told them not to wake him up. How many victims? Two in the hospital, one hillbilly in the field, killed another girl in the field, and then five in a helicopter. Nine? Don't shoot him yet. I want to see if I can try something. Myers makes one move, you take that shot. Michael, you need to listen to me. It's my fault for the way you are. I should have helped you more as a boy. But please, please don't punish your sister for it. If anyone deserves to die here, it's me. Because I should have helped you. Instead, I just milked your tragedy for a book selling. And I am sorry for that. Do it! Shoot him! No, I said don't shoot! <laughs> <laughs>